night and this is the international airport and I'm just waiting for my taxi to pick me up that's my taxi coming to pick me up and then I'll be headed to my home stay for my duration here I hope to have a beautiful time it's a massive airport they have here fantastic one and it was very easy for me to get out like very very easy not a lot of bureaucracies and you know what you find in other countries it was pretty seamless and straightforward covid regulations and tests and all but it was fine so let's go hey friends this is where i'll be staying in mauritius it's cost me two hundred and fifty dollars for four nights okay look at it it's so beautiful and i'll take you down to where i'm staying it's amazing ship affordable let's go in look at that it's beautiful right yeah look amazing and the bathroom it's a sliding door look at that show you the outer court look it's beautiful private pool I'm about to enjoy what Mauritius has to offer and I'll bring you along on every bit of it let's go this you say Mauritius this is Mauritius Hey folks, um, I'm excited to be here uh, on the island of Mauritius and like I told you most of the activities here involve loads and loads of water sports. Just take a look at my beautiful background over there. See how beautiful it is. Awesome. It's sweet. You know the last time I saw anywhere close to this would be the island of Seychelles but look this is equally beautiful. Now I will be doing a few things today, um, a lot more activities and sightseeing and all that and I'm really excited to show you. So tighten your seat belts and come with me. So first day on the island and you've got to do this of course. This island is mostly filled with, you know, beaches and stuff and sand and look at the water just so blue and beautiful the last time i saw this was uh in seychelles on the african continent of course it was in seychelles look at this beauty 
like oh my god so today on day one one of the first things i'm gonna do is to enjoy the beach gorgeous it's totally and totally beautiful like you have to be here to see it amazing and the show is about to begin taking my boat ride into the depths of the sea oh god it's just so good so good In the northern part of this island, you have this magnificent temple. It's called the Tamil Surya Udya Sangam Temple. Ah, what a long name. But yeah, because um, Mauritius in itself has Indian origin, um, 65% of people from Mauritius are of Indian ancestry. You definitely would have one of these kind of temples around. So, um, this is one structure you have to see in Grand Bay, the northern island of Mauritius. The easiest way to go around Mauritius is through the public bus. And I'm gonna take one shortly. Totally enjoyed the northern part of Mauritius. This is the northern island. And hopefully, before I leave, I can check out the southern part of Mauritius. It's another day. Um, and brilliant weather down here in Mauritius. And I've spent the last few days on the northern part of the island. So today I want to see the southern part of Mauritius. So I've just got a taxi. I uh, just got a taxi that's gonna take me down to see several attraction sites in the south of Mauritius. Let me show you my taxi driver. So here's my driver. Bonjour. Hello. Bonjour. Eh? Bonjour. Uh, tu parles français? Ah, okay. Uh, nous allons au sud, correct? Eh? Huh? Huh? Nous allons au sud. Oh, sud, oui, oui, oui. Oui, oui, oui. Okay, that's my French in action there. <laughs> All right, I'll see you folks in a few minutes. Here we are. This is the first sight you need to see. The impressive image of Lord Shiva representative of the Indi people in Mauritius I'll give you a close view this is the impressive statue of goddess Dolga um, she is a Hindi goddess and next to her just here is Lord Shiva I'll give you a closer look in a few minutes but just look at this this is the largest statue that exists of this goddess and it's down here in the south of Mauritius that's a lion beside it and you see people here congregating to worship and adore their goddess And from afar, I showed you this. This is the highest statue in the whole of Mauritius. It's the statue of Lord Shiva. And now you can see the serpent. The serpent. You can see the serpent around his neck. Yeah. So this is a god. That's a goddess with a lion this with a serpent okay 
I'm gonna try and get a closer look. I'm gonna try and go up top um, just to give you a better angle. It's massively huge, huge. You can see where people come to worship, okay? The Mangal Mahadev, it's called. Bonjour. It's, it's beautiful, all around beautiful. So I'll give you a closer look. Give you a closer look. There you go. Look at that. Just look. It's huge. And I'm close. Yep. So there you go, Lord Shiva, Goddess Dorga. Another angle, it's just an impressive structure for you to see. My mouth is just opened, ah, it's beautiful, yeah, yeah, let's go, good. This is the Black River Gorges National Park and it's the largest rainforest in the whole of Mauritius, the largest rainforest, home to loads of animals, birds and stuff. I mean, aside all this, it's the beauty the beauty that comes with it. Just take a look. So, something worth seeing. You remember that, remember that I said that within the park you have endangered animals. Just look at them. Can you see them? <laughs> so this is still within the park. They're everywhere. Now this is the view. Look at that view. Hi, Monsieur. This is a ticket, so it's only cost about seven dollars to go in here. Okay. Thank you, Monsieur. Thank you. You'll be on my YouTube channel, my friend. <laughs> All right. So the journey begins, and I'll show you when I get there. This is like a summary. This is like a summary of all the colors and you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. So and that's the cafe. This is another view. Another view of the seven colors. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Let me give you, let me give you a tour of some of the gods and goddesses they have here. Okay, this is one of them. Uh, the 400, the 300 god, yep. No, 400 actually, 400 god with 
horses. Um, that's one of them. Another one they have here is the Lord Muruga. The Lord Muruga. You have this is the symbol of the divine trinity, the Data Treya. Data Treya. You have Brahma in the middle. The Brahma is the creator. Vishnu is the preserver. And Shiva is the destroyer to attain good. Those are the three in the Then we come over here and see. This god as well. I don't know what his name is, but he's a god as well. You have the blue one over there, another god. She has a serpent around the neck. You have this as well, another goddess. You have this, an elephant. Hey friends, that has been Mauritius. I've only spent uh, three, four days on this beautiful island, seen the northern part and of course the southern part of uh, Mauritius. Now, everything that I've seen and done has a striking resemblance with my time in Seychelles. They have the same vibe, you know what I mean? The food, the culture, well, culture maybe not, the food, the activities, the scenery, you know, the island, you know, type of bubbly, you know, lifestyle and all that. Mauritius has a blend of Hindu, Chinese, Thai culture and it's a fantastic place. Now, if you've seen my video on um, Seychelles, I did say that I was going to definitely go back to Seychelles. Would I come back to Mauritius? Mm, I'd say a little bit above average definitely 100% coming going back to Seychelles 100% um, with Mauritius maybe 70% I've enjoyed my time no doubt it's a beautiful place and somewhere I would suggest so um, guys that has been Mauritius um, subscribe like um, and share this video with your friends in all you know my days here the, the amount of money I've spent um, hasn't been ridiculous you know um, things are very cheap um, activities are a lot to do you have sights to see and I've shown you everything till I see you again another country another place another city bring you the best images it's your one and only Wakawakado.